Hi, this is Karen Lambert. I'm here today at Whitman Works Company in Penfield, New York with Derek Darling. Hi, Derek. How are Hello. you? Hello. Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for having us in here today. Glad to have you. So how long have you been here in this location? We've been here about 15 months. Uh, we opened late 2016 and it's been great. Love in Penfield. What would you tell somebody who hasn't been here about your art gallery that makes it special? Our art gallery is special because we have a lot of variety. We have, we, we represent about 35 artists. They're all Monroe County uh, local artists. And it's not just wall art, it's furniture, it's um, jewelry. We have glass works, all different kinds of, of media, if you will. Nice. Mm -hmm. And how would somebody, if they wanted to display their art here, how would they go about contacting you to, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the what's best, the process, I guess? There? Yeah, the best thing to do is just to, to come in and, and talk to me about what you're trying to accomplish with your work and, and what kinds of things you're doing to market your work currently. But the best thing to do is just come in and, and have that conversation. Okay. What do you hope Whitman Works Company will bring to the Rochester community? Really, the, the entire idea is I really want to bring a lot more exposure to local artists and be able to provide a venue for them to be seen. Uh, I think it's, there's, a, there's a lot of great talent in this area. A lot of times, the only way to really see a lot of that is if you're willing to brave the crowds at a festival or right. a First Friday or, or things like that. So I'm trying to do more of a retail space for these kinds of, of works so that you can come in at your own leisure. Because a lot of times you think, oh, I want to go look at something or I want to explore a little bit, but you know, it's the middle of winter or, or it's, not the, it's not a first Friday or maybe you're not a crowd person. Right. Um, you know, really be able to provide you kind of a more intimate location for, for doing that. Okay, and how many artisans do you typically display here? Anywhere between 35 and 45. Right now I've got 35. I'm still on the hunt for maybe a few more artists this year. How would someone go about getting a hold of you to you know, either find out your hours or you know, how to get a hold of you to sell something here? Sure, sure. We have a website. It's WhitmanWorks.com. And I have all, all, all kinds of different ways of being contacted uh, that are listed there. I have an email address, info at WhitmanWorks.com or you can call me at 585-747-9999. And your hours now are? Right now for January is um, Friday and Saturday from 11 till 6 p.m. and then Sunday from 12 to 5. Derek, today we're gonna meet with Mike Krause. Can you name some of the other artists here that you have featured that you know would draw people in? Absolutely, we have Mark Groening is a, is a well-known artist in the area, Renee Mindler, um, we have Maureen Robbins, has some of her work behind us. Uh, Mike Krause, as you had mentioned. TJ Dill is a well-known uh, artist, and she owns White Tiger Tattoo. Uh, some of the best work in our shop. Um, we have Molly O'Reilly, does some, does some really in impressive works. Victoria Connors. Uh, gosh, I could go on and on. <laughs> I have 30, 35 right. names right. I could go through, right? So. Well, great. Yep. Thank you very much for letting us in today and showing us your beautiful gallery and all the amazing artisans that you have here. Just thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thank you right. very much. Thank you.